Uh, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. And my last screw update, I showed this uh, cracky system. I call it the khaki system because it's using a litter container. And I buy the um, unscented, so there's, I mean, it, I don't think cats like scented stuff anyway, but also it's just less stuff. So really all you have to do is just rinse this out really well. And I always get people who ask. So it's uh, HDPE2, which is considered food safe. So you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is drill a two inch hole for a two inch net cup and secure my plant. I'm going to put one of these tomato cuttings that is rooted in there, cutting from this plant and uh, just fill up with nutrient. Very basic cracky system. But uh, what's cool about this is this holds two and a half gallons approximately. So a lot of things you can grow start to finish with two and a half gallons. Tomato, probably not. I might get some fruits, but I may have to add some to it. But so yeah, as I get these uh, going, I'll probably end up with a few on the porch this summer. But uh, yeah, this is a red romaine that's growing really well. There's still a ton of nutrients. This will actually mature before it even runs out of nutrient. So anyway, let me uh, go to the basement and I'll just show you how to set this up. Okay, so I'm in the basement and I'll show you what I'm using. So I'm drilling this for a standard two inch net cup and I'm actually using a one and seven eighths hole saw. And that's because the standard net cups, if you use a full two inch hole saw, it's gonna be, hole's gonna be a little too big. Unless you have the wide rimmed two inch net cups, those will work fine with a two, uh, true two inch hole. For these that don't have the wide lips, Use a one and seven eighths, it comes out great. So what I'm gonna do is drill in a forward position until the point just penetrates the top. And then I'm gonna switch it to reverse and that makes it easier um, to get a clean hole without tearing up anything. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going in a forward position now. All right. And now I'm switching it to reverse. All right, so now this is ready. So really at this point, you just need to drop your net, net cup in there. It will stick up just a hair, but it's okay. All right, so yeah, so this is how that goes. I'm gonna take this upstairs and fill it with nutrients and show you how to set up the plant. All right, so I don't know if you saw it in the video, I may have edited it out, but um, when drilling in reverse, make sure this is tight and you kind of put some pressure because you can actually unscrew the lid. That's just one thing to make note of. Um, so anyway, that's ready to go. And I think I'm gonna use hydrogen clay pebbles to secure the plant. And so let me get the tomato. Actually, let me fill this up first. So I'm, I've got mega crop at um, like three grams per gallon. So I'm just gonna, I had some of it in here already. If I didn't already have roots, I would have this coming up about a quarter of an inch from the bottom so the sponge or whatever could wick up. But since this already has really long roots, I'm just going to lift it a little, maybe a quarter of an inch under the cup. You'll see why here in just a second. So this is my tomato cutting. It's been in the air garden sprout. Actually one of the older, the oldest model sprout still works. So, um, I'll try to break some of the bottom of the sponge off because it's too tall for the cup. Yeah, there we go. And this tool I'm using is a, like a, it's a gun cleaning pick. But it's really good for working with this kind of stuff. Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna fill around with some pebbles. This is really just to secure the plant and also kind of keep light from getting down in there.
That's probably fine. So I'll lower my roots down in there. And that's very secure, it's not going to come out. And that's pretty much it. Just give it a light source and um, let it go. One thing I wanted to mention, you want to block, it's just a little bit, uh, it's not perfectly clear, but it's enough to allow light to penetrate this and start growing algae. So I recommend wrapping something around it. A couple of big pieces of aluminum foil to do the trick. I actually should have done that before I installed the plant. Well, actually, I can pull that out temporarily, put the aluminum foil, kind of cover it, put you know, and then reinstall it, which I may do. So basically, um, like I've got this, if you're doing a um, one and done kind of thing, like with lettuce, something that's gonna, whatever, when it's mature, you're gonna dump it out. You could just throw this away and then reuse the lid on a new container, but uh, I'm gonna put aluminum foil around mine and I'll stick it under one of my lights. I'm calling it the khaki system. It's really cracky. It's a passive hydroponic method popularized by uh, Bernard Kratky. And it's very simple. You don't have to have any moving parts, no aeration or anything. It works great in warmer weather too. Eventually I'll probably get these going on my porch, but for now I'll just have them under grow lights. Thank you very much for watching. I'll post some updates on this as it progresses too. I'll show it in future videos, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.